What do you mean by congruence? Let us take any two figures. Now I know these are not absolutely circles, but suppose I call this as figure 1 and I call this as figure 2. Now what I do is, I shift the circle from here to here, okay, and I keep it over 1. Now if 2 is able to cover 1 in such a manner that you know there is, it is neither bigger nor smaller than 1, which means that both of them are exactly of the same length as each other, then figure 1 and 2 are said to be congruent, which means they are equal. Now, let us take another example. Suppose you have a line segment. Let's call this as line A, B. And then you have a line C, D. Suppose line AB is 5 cm and CD is 5 cm. Both of them are 5 cm each. Now you put line CD over line AB. You will notice that once both the lines are kept over each other, assume that this is a different color, There would be nothing more in the sense that on neither side, neither on this side, nor on this side, neither of these two sides will be more or less than each other. In such a case, we say that line AB is congruent to CD and the sign for congruence is you put in equal to sign and then you put in this. So the congruent sign is basically this. In the earlier example, you would have said that figure 1 is congruent to figure 2. So congruence means that both of them are exactly same to each other. Now let us see the congruence of angles. Suppose you have an angle C, D, E, which is 40 degrees. And you have another angle, L, M, N, which is 30 degree. And you have, say, a third angle, A, B, C. Let me not confuse. Maybe I can just rename this one to something else. X, Y, Z. And ABC is also 40 degree. Now what will happen? Let's keep, say let this is angle 1, this is angle 2, and this is angle 3. Now if I keep angle 2 over angle 1, what will happen? What is, kind, what is the kind of figure I will get? I will have X, Y, Z which is 40 degree, okay, this is adjusting. Now if you try to keep this over this angle, what will you have to do? You will have to put M over Y, so you will have M here, okay. You will have N on this side, you will have M here, because N will go and correspond to Z. Where will L come? We know that 30 degree will be somewhere. So N, sorry, L, L will come at this place because we know that this angle is 30 degree which is less than 40 degree. So it has to come somewhere here. So do these two angles correspond to each other? The answer is no. Angle XYZ and LMN do not correspond to each other and therefore we cannot say that angle XYZ is congruent to angle LMN. No, we can't say this. Let us see the second case. Again, I have X, Y and Z. 
40 degree. I suppose want to overlay this or superimpose or transpose whatever you might say on this. So each of these sides will go and correspond to this. So I will have B here. Let me use a different color. I will have C here and I will have A here. Now these two will correspond and these will also correspond because this angle is the same 40 degree 40 degree. In such a case we say that angle ABC is congruent to angle X, Y, Z. Why? Because both of them are equal, both of them will correspond to each other. Now the idea behind explaining the correspondence of figures, lines and angles was that in a triangle you will have all these things. So before you come back to the congruency of a triangle, it is important for you to understand as to how lines and angles are congruent to each other. Once this concept is clear, then it becomes fairly easy to understand how the triangles are congruent. And that is what we are going to see in the subsequent videos.